Royal fans cheer up. Meghan's betrayed as Harry is secretly negotiated to bring Archie back to UK. Meghan Markle allegedly went berserk after learning that Prince Harry has been secretly negotiating his plans to return to the United Kingdom. The Duchess of Sussex screamed at Prince Harry and told him that he could go back home if this is what he wants. However, Markle made it clear that her 11-month-old son, Archie will be staying with her in the United States. Harry's dream of living a quiet life out of the royal fishbowl with his wife and son, the family he's always wanted, just turned into a nightmare, a source told the tabloid. The insider said that after Markle gave Prince Harry a warning, the former royal couldn't help but feel devastated. The Duke of Sussex is allegedly feeling so much pressure especially with some of his closest friends telling him that he made a mistake by leaving the royal family. According to the unnamed source, Prince Harry is secretly blaming Markle for their disastrous relocation to Los Angeles. And there is nothing else that he wants more than to return to the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, Markle has no plans to return to the royal family. The insider said that the Duchess of Sussex has also warned her husband about making the right decision in the coming days. Unfortunately, the suit Salem's ultimatum has left Prince Harry feeling depressed. He's tortured, pulled between the only family he's known and the woman and child he adores. Aides know he's feeling cut off and alone and is terrified at what the future could bring, the source said. Prince Harry has reportedly been left reeling since he knows that he could either lose his wife and son or lose the royal family. This isn't the first time that Globe published a dubious story about Prince Harry and Markle. Earlier this month, the tabloid claimed that Queen Elizabeth has banned the royal couple from their funeral. A source told the tabloid that not only is the Queen dying, she also doesn't want her renegade grandson and his rebel wife to be at her funeral. The insider claimed that Her Majesty is determined to call the shots until her last breath. The Sussexes are living in a $14 million, £10.7 million, mansion in Montecito, California, after quitting life as senior royals earlier this year. It is claimed the family will snub the Queen for the second year in a row and celebrate their first Christmas in the US, after reportedly spending the holiday in Canada last year. They are expected to travel to the UK days later. The Queen and husband Prince Philip haven't seen their great-grandson Archie, who was born in May 2019, for a year, and they have never spent a Christmas with him at the monarch's estate Sandringham, Norfolk, along with other members of the royal family. Ms Nicholl said the fact that they won't be joining the royal family at Sandringham is likely to be disappointing for the Queen, who is missing Harry and one-year-old Archie. Harry and Meghan had previously spent every Christmas at Sandringham since their engagement in 2017. Harry spent every Christmas at the estate in Norfolk, except in 2012 when he was serving in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, the Duke of Cambridge has become the patron of two wildlife conservation charities, succeeding the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh, Kensington Palace has announced. William has followed in the Queen's footsteps to become the figurehead of Fauna and Flora International, FFI, and takes over from Philip as patron of the British Trust for Ornithology, BTO. The announcement comes after the Duke launched his £50 million Earthshot Prize earlier this month, which aims to recognise solutions, ideas and technologies which repair the planet. The Queen was the FFI's patron for almost seven decades, while Philip held the same position with the BTO for more than 30 years and is a lifelong ornithology enthusiast. Is it possible that Harry will regret it and return to the royal family?